This segment brought to you by Kansas Grain Sorghum, growers working together. Find out more at kansasgrainsorghum.org. Welcome to Farm Factor. Up first, Dwayne Taves visits with Sharon Page about the National Outstanding Young Farmer Program. Dwayne Taves joining you once again on Ag AM in Kansas and a chance to catch up with Sharon Page. Talk a little bit about uh, the National Org- Outstanding Young Farmers Program, or N-O-Y-E-F. Uh, Sharon, tell us a little bit about the program, where it started, and, and how long it's been around. Um, we're the longest standing um, Farmer Recognition Program was started in 1955 by the U.S. Junior Chamber of Commerce, which is formerly known as the JCs, where they recognize leadership in agribusness. So Sharon, uh, as far as the program is concerned, uh, is obviously a recognition and outstanding uh, people within agriculture. We know we've got good people here. Uh, how do we continue to become involved in an organization like this to recognize them and, and tell the good story? Well, we're always looking for a good story, and you can go to our website to apply for every year we have an award ceremony. You can go to www.outstandingfarmers.com, or you can contact your NACAA Ag Agent, which could help you fill out the application. We recognize 10 winners every year, but first you have to start with the application, which you can get off of our website. It's a two-page form. And then we pick the top 25 from there, and they file, fill out an additional form where we pick the top 10. The top 10 will be, have an all-expense-paid trip to wherever our national convention is. This year it's in um, Greenville, South Carolina, which is held every February. And from that top 10, they become part of our alumni group. Our alumni group is 1,700-fold, and some of our very active, and some are kind of silent members. From that top 10, they go through an interview process and they pick four national winners. Our national sponsor is John Deere, who's been our sponsor for 41 years. Those four winners will get a monetary re- award. And then the following year, I take that those four national winners on to uh, Washington, D.C. for an all-expense paid for Ag Week. We think about uh, what we can utilize those young uh, men and women then for uh, to promote agriculture. I'm assuming you have some great discussions with uh, Congress people there in, in D.C. We do. We take them to their congressmen, and um, we sit down and talk to each one of the, whichever state wins, to their congressmen. We are always um, part of on the hill with agriculture, and they give a speech, and we intermingle with all the, the young adults there and seniors. Our thanks to Sharon Page with the National Outstanding Young Farmers Program joining us here on Ag AM in Kansas. Jamie, we'll send it back to you. Thanks, Dwayne. Folks, come back after these messages for this week's Kansas Soybean Update. KFRM is one of the largest farm radio stations in the nation, dedicated to informing and entertaining rural listeners from northern Oklahoma to southwestern Nebraska. You can catch KFRM in many ways, of course, 550 on the AM dial, streaming at KFRM.com, or on your smartphone by going to the TuneIn Radio app, or on Ag AM in Kansas on Tuesdays, and Facebook every day of the week. KFRM, tune us in. You'll be glad you did. 